Well, today is the last day to get your mail or send anything out of the downtown post office in Austin. It's moving east to Congress, but it may cause you an inconvenience for the next few days. There will be a lapse between today's closing and opening of the new location. Our Sophia Bosale is live with details this morning. Hi, Sophia. Good morning to you, Brian. Well, if you have mail that comes to these PO boxes, they will be gone for the next couple of days because they're actually moving to a new location and with change always comes some concern. If you're used to picking up your mail and shipping out packages at this downtown spot, your postal service is getting a new address. We'll make do. It's sorry to see the, the post office moving. Been here a long time. The U.S. Postal Service sold its current location in September. After 16 years on Guadalupe, it'll move to 823 Congress. And starting next week, the 7,100 square foot facility will house P.O. boxes and retail services. Many businesses downtown rely on the post office for work, and some people are worried the new location will be a hassle. That's terrible. No parking over there. It's ridiculous. Big time post office, a big time city like Austin, and you find some place over there where you can't park. I'm disappointed in the post office. The Postal Service says people will be able to park on the street or in the parking garage off 9th. But in comparison to the current location's parking lot, it's going to be an adjustment. I mean, we're excited about the new location, but again, just the challenges of parking. So uh, we sh I'm sure that there's been some great planning around that. But again, there's always the question of convenience and being able to access the post office fairly quickly. I got a P.O. box close to one of my other stores, so... We're going to move over there. Well, this morning we have Mr. Sam Bowen with us from the Postal Service. Good morning to you. Uh, good morning. How are you doing? Well, the number one complaint is the parking, but there's an upside to this, correct? Well, you know, for us to, within our resources, find a location that was suitable within the Central Business District of downtown large urban area, uh, Parking was one of the things that we considered. I mean, you will be able to park there, but it won't be for free in most cases unless you come really early or really late in the day. Now, you all are actually physically moving these actual boxes to the new location, correct? That's right. We'll be moving these boxes. That's why we have to shut down tonight. That's a major undertaking. But the plus side is all the businesses that have boxes here especially, it won't require a change of address. So there'll be no changes of address required for any of our customers at this location when they move to the new location. That'll save them a lot of money on stationery and things like that. You know, we were talking earlier, one of those things people may say, hey, my tax dollars are paying for this. I want to stay right where it is. Um, what do you have to say to people who say that? Well, for over 30 years, the Postal Service has been a self-funded agency. We don't receive tax dollars for our operations. The Postal Service runs solely from the money that we receive from, you know, people purchasing postage and the services we provide. All right. Thanks so much for being with us this morning, Sam. Oh, thank you. All right. Well, that new location will open up January 2nd, and the post office says, you know, this is actually a really good time for them to make this whole transition because of the holiday season with New Year's being right here. Reporting live downtown, Sophia Bosley, KXAN News. All right. Thank you, Sophia.